Hey everyone, welcome to a little 10 minute segment with me. We're gonna do power Pilates. The thing I like about Pilates, it teaches you how to engage your muscles, strengthen your core, have nice flow and finesse and everything. So I consider this an intermediate workout because I expect you to already understand how to hold your chest up, how to hold your neck, lats engaged, hips aligned, thighs pulled in. But the problem with most Pilates people, they don't pull things into actual functional movements. So what I wanna show you today it's how to flow very quickly into a few different motions. We're going to start in a downward dog pose. So go ahead and get down on your mat and pop right up into downward dog. Now that you're there, let's just move the legs a little bit to open up our body. Just move those legs. Okay, so now here's the workout part. You're going to take your right hand, lift up. Everything's engaged, I don't have to tell you. Put it back down, other hand up, one leg up, one leg up, and then tuck those elbows along your side, press down to the mat, and pop up behind. Then we're gonna repeat. We come up, we lift one, two, three, four, chaturanga. Again, one, two, three, four, we have 20 of these. That's three. One, two, three, four, four. One, two, three, four. Nice. One, two, three, four. Already sit back in the child's pose, take a little break from that, hop out of that, come back forward, and to downward dog. Let's do it again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. the other 
leg. So it's just a little 10 minute set you could do. Get your day started. Do it before you get out of bed. Just roll over in bed, start doing this. All right, go ahead and sit back down all the way into child's pose. I'm gonna stretch out your lower back before we get into those next ones. Now, I have a lot of clients that have wrist pain, and while this is good to strengthen your wrist, it's also okay to come into that on fists. So I'm gonna do these last five on my fists, just to show you what that looks like. You're welcome to do it however you want. Uh, I'm gonna do the last two on my fingertips. I don't know if I've been doing that or not, but that's what you should be doing as an advanced movement. Okay, so start on the fist, coming up to my fingertips for the last two. Go ahead and do it, guys. Just five more. Come up. We go one, two, three, four, come down, and down. One, two, three, four, and come down, and down. Nice. One, two, three, four, come down. Up. This time I'm going to stay on my fingertips all the way up. Last two. One, two, three, four, up, and back. Last one. One, two, three, four, all the way down, and sit back. Sit that heart back up above your chest. Come all the way around. Get a little bit of stretch in before we call it a day. Just hold one arm across your chest. Hold that other arm across your chest. Stretch those quads out. Come all the way up. Press forward, squeezing your inner thighs together. Then drop that head back just a little bit. neck over on one side, neck on the other side, take that right arm all the way back behind, hold on to the left arm with it, put it on the inside of your leg and stretch down lifting the head over to the side. Let that right shoulder come back onto your back. Same thing on the other side. Left arm goes behind, holds onto your elbow, comes forward, stretches down, twists that hand inward, lifts the chest up, quads forward, and open up the body. Take both arms out wide, pull them underneath. Sit down on one leg, stretch one out to the side, a little hurdle stretch there, get a side hurdle, and a forward hurdle. Also, with how fast this workout is, you can do it when it's cold, you don't need a warm climate. Do it to invigorate your body. Switch over there on the other side, have that leg come out, do a side stretch with it. Right, so it's power Pilates. Think about that when you're doing all of your Pilates. It can be that fast. You don't have to go so slow that the technique's perfect. You saw my technique isn't perfect in that, but it's about going as fast as you can, maintaining as much technique as you can, as long as you're always 100% safe. Great job, guys.